Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is going to be right around the fifth of the month that we will have Jupiter meeting Pluto in the sky. Now, this is the first of three meetings as part of an ongoing dance that these planets will have throughout most of this year. This is the first perfection. But it isn't just about the fact that these two planets are meeting at the top of your sky, speaking to career, speaking to life purpose, and the ways in which profound transformation is taking place now to your understanding of your ultimate direction. But the fact that it will be right around the 8th of this month that a full moon in your opposite sign will be speaking with this configuration in the type of conversation that astrologers call a square. This is a conversation of tension. And it does suggest that it isn't just about what's happening in this legacy-oriented part of the sky where Jupiter and Pluto are meeting, but it is another person, a one-on-one -on -one alliance that is fitting into what is changing for you now, whether it is a business alliance, whether it is a professional partnership, there is some evolution happening now, some sense of emotions running very high, but things changing. They have to change. It's as if their time has come. And the change is necessary if it is that you are going to align with that higher, more loving vision for your life that is a key part of how this year is meant to help you to adjust your course. At the same time, and under the light of the full moon, just before the full moon, your ruling planet Mars will be speaking with Uranus in tension as well. So there's a sense of urgency at this time, a sense of impatience on your part. What it is you're hoping to achieve, how it is that you want things to change for you for the better, whom it is that you believe should be on your side, where it is that you feel that they aren't and where it is that you are feeling that your direction is changing now. And it is very possible that an uncomfortable moment with another person, and I'm sorry to say that, but as part of the wisdom of this time, it may very well be that an uncomfortable moment lends itself to you making some decision, some choice, as to the direction in which you are truly meant to go. But more importantly, where it is that you're not meant to go and whom it is that has served their purpose in your life so that you can ultimately align with that higher, more loving vision for you. Your alliances are going to change now and this is very all or nothing. And so those alliances that are true, that are strong, the transformation that happens now will deepen the strength of those bonds. But it is also possible that realizations come quickly now, possibly through other people that you know through group endeavors, perhaps even friendships as well, that lend themselves to the awakening and the realizations of what must change and what is to change for you at this time. And in that way, this can be one of those times that ends key chapters and key alliances but you will know when it's right and you will know when it is that this change has to happen if you are going to align with something more meaningful, a path that feels more true and more authentic for you. The surprise energy continues as we navigate later into the month, right around the 23rd is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon will be happening hand in hand with Uranus speaking in a conversation of tension with Saturn. So this is important for a few reasons. One of the reasons that it is important is because this is one of the first important activations we are having of these two planets, Uranus and Saturn. These two planets will be dancing in 2021, a key characteristic of next year. So pay attention to what is happening in your life because this is a glimpse into the ways in which you are going to be working towards, wanting, striving, trying to make the goals that you have for your life, the, the larger, more inspired goals, the, the dream, the wish, and how other people fit into that, and how it is that you are going to have that come together with your money, with your prosperity, and the changes that you are desiring to make to how you earn your money, your understanding of what's worth the money, what isn't, 
who's worth getting along with and who isn't as part of your prosperity. These are some issues that are going to come to the surface now, but at least for now, the emphasis is more on the prosperity part of it. This is not the time to mix friends and money, no matter uh, how much it is that it feels that either you wish you could say no, but you know that you should, or you really wanna help somebody out. If you have it to give, that's great. But this energy does say that it is those group alliances, those memberships you hold, and the friendships that you have as well that right now could feel like they cost you a lot, whether it is financially, whether it is in terms of your time, but even in terms of your peace, you know, you being at peace is a great resource. We're able to do so much more in our lives when we come from an inner place of presence, an inner place of being truly present enough to be at peace. And when it is that someone else or your associations or your involvements with different groups, if they take that peace from you, well, that is a cost. That is something that you are paying. And that may be part of how this lesson reveals itself to you now. But know this, in some way you are coming to understand finances, what's worth money, what isn't. That's a larger understanding over the course of this month. This is a peak moment at this new moon. And this time may very well represent an opportunity, a moment where you are considering what would be a more lofty way to align your finances. What is it ultimately that you really want to do? What is it that you dream of? And how is it now that perhaps the universe is offering you some pathway towards it? I know that right now on a world level, especially there is fear. And some of that fear is also rooted in some sense of scarcity that can be there. And when it is that we are afraid that our own basic needs may not be met, well, that's tough. Right? That's a hard place to be in, and I want to extend my compassion for that. And in this moment, and if you find yourself in that place where you are thinking about survival in a more immediate way, know that sometimes the universe presents us with these windows, these glimpses, these opportunities to think about how it is that we could change, how it is that right now, if we're willing to calm down the, the primal fear of survival and if instead we're willing to think about what it is that perhaps we really want to do where it is that maybe we've walked a certain path as far as it could go and where it is that the universe may be offering you some way a new way to walk on a new path that feels truly authentic that feels like a risk but that feels like it is calling you well that may be part of the invitation at this time for you one thing is for sure though, with the collective and all the changes that we're going through, we won't go back. We can't go back. Once it is that things feel like they start calming down or we're asked to go back to normal, what normal is will feel different to each of us. For some of us, that normal will be something we are so grateful for. For others, what was normal no longer fits. And if that is the case for you, this new moon, offers you a glimpse into that as well as a pathway forward that ultimately promises you great prosperity as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love, yes, we are going to have Venus going into shadow as part of Venus going retrograde next month. Now, I'll talk about that separately in a Venus retrograde special horoscope, so be on the lookout for that. But at least for now, let me say that full moon early in the month is going to bring relationships and partnerships of all kinds into focus, including romantic partnerships as well. If you're open to meeting someone new, when we have important lunar energy in your opposite sign, it does bring relationships or partnerships or an awareness of where you are in love and why into focus. And what you find may bring with it some mixed feelings. Chances are someone will be there to help you to learn some of these lessons, where you are in love and why. But this is an important moment for you, ultimately strong emotion rising to the surface so that you can understand where you've been and now how it is that you want to move forward. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, this is very all or nothing kind of energy here with this full moon. And either you will see things in this person 
that you feel very much uh, a part of, that you feel you very much want to have in your life, that you feel yourself committing to that much more deeply, or it will go in a whole other direction. And you will realize that this isn't the person for you. There's no halfway with this energy. It is that all or nothing. It is you coming to a decision moment as to whether or not you're meant to move forward with this person. And for those of you in an established bond, it does look like your partner is of prime importance to you at the full moon in the first part of the month. And it is going to be your partner and you in some way coming to an understanding as to how present you desire them to be, how present you desire to be. Emotions may run high in some way. And remember this full moon is happening right around the eighth and there's a very intense sky happening in different ways at the same time. And so as much as it may be about your partner, there may be some other factors in there as well, where it feels like a, a very sweeping, all encompassing kind of time. And either it is going to be the case that you realize how much your partner is on your side, or it can also be the case where it feels like the two of you are on a little bit of a different page in some way. But the opportunity is there to find middle ground, to find a deepening understanding that can strengthen the bond. What I love about this month for you, well, there's a lot here, right? But I do love how you are coming to a renewed understanding as to what really matters, what it is that ultimately is going to give you peace and what it is that will be at the foundation of your prosperity, because that foundation is going through changes for you now. What felt right at one time might not as much anymore. And that really is okay. This is a time of monumental evolution. This certainly is the case for the collective, but in our individual journeys as well. And that certainly is true for you. You are going through changes on profound levels, and that is going to change so much in your life from your relationships to your money and your understanding of what's worth the money and what isn't is ultimately going to bring you to answers that reach the root of authenticity and fulfillment. And that is a journey worth taking. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes like the Venus retrograde specials that will be coming out this month and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.